Hello everyone, it's July 12th, 2014. This article taken from naturalcuresnotmedicine.com Police confiscate healthy baby for testing because of off-grid birth. Recently, a Pennsylvania woman named Fatima Damboya had doctors take away her seven-day-old completely healthy baby. They called police and social workers simply because she gave birth at her own home. The doctors from St. Joseph's Hospital then transferred her baby to another hospital without her permission. If you are starting to get upset, that's normal. Something is seriously wrong. This poor woman continues to explain, quote, The doctor came into the room with a stern look and said, If you refuse to transfer her, we will contact DHS, Department of Human Services, and the police. Domboya and her husband refused permission because they felt there was no need for it, but little did they realize that doctors had already decided to move their daughter to another hospital in Philadelphia. They only learned of the pre-decided transfer when a nurse told them that the baby was about to be moved. They didn't give permission or sign any papers authorizing this action. Despite this, the doctors told her that the baby would be transferred to a children's hospital because St. Joseph lacked the proper instruments to examine her. I informed her that she cannot physically force me to take my child to another hospital. I knew what awaited us there were vaccines and the silver nitrate eye medication medicine. Because the couple refused to transfer, doctors called the police. Soon three officers were waiting. The officers then proceeded to force the couple to go with the baby to another hospital. One decent person did cross their path during all of this and advised Domboya that the hospital's actions were probably illegal and she should get her daughter discharged by filling out against medical advice or AMA forms if you could get them from the front desk. She says, when I asked the front desk for those papers, they blatantly ignored me, Don Boya wrote. I kept asking and asking and no one would answer me. They all looked at each other and kept doing what they were doing. It was like something out of a movie. Sound familiar? Ever had people do this to you? It's most likely the most stressful times you could experience. The baby was then subjected to tests without the parents' permission. The parents waited for an hour and a half for the ambulance to come and take her baby to Children's Hospital, which, by the way, this couple will be forced into paying for later to the tune of over $3,000 just for the ambulance ride. At the Children's Hospital, the baby was subjected to a series of tests and found to be normal and healthy. They ran test after test after test, hoping to find something, Damboya said. All these tests were done without her permission, and it leaves one feeling hopeless and powerless. She believes the reason for all these the tests were to find an excuse for the Department of Human Services to take away her baby. To add insult to injury, Damboya and her husband received the bill from the hospital and ambulance ride they didn't want. They were charged and forced to pay over $3,320. Healthcare is the biggest scam in this country. Well, wow, do we live in a police state. Every single day, our rights are being taken from us. Just wanted to pass this information along. I'll put the link to the article below. Have a great day, everyone.